channel welcome and if you are returning what's good happy main monday if you are anything like me your curls are different day to day day one my curls are popping but my shrinkage is real but by day two and three my curls are a little bit looser and my hair has stretched so now that it's day four i'm gonna show you guys how i freshen up my fro i bring a little bit of life back into my curl before we get started i just want you to know my goal is to not have my curls be as crisp as they were on day one because i still want to keep the same volume as i had like yesterday but i just want to make sure that they're still hydrated and still you know there is still some definition so let's get to it so and don't don't be on me y'all so to go to bed like i just did some little twists just so that my hair wasn't like super tangled when i got up so i'm just gonna take these down you know mini twist type thing so before i do anything i'm gonna hydrate my hair with some more water mist it a little bit now, I don't want it to be drenched because I'm not going to do the full process of, you know, restyling my hair. I just wanted to get it a little wet just so there's a little more moisture there. Just going to work that through. And I know I look crazy right now, but that's okay. Now that my hair, actually I'm gonna add just a little bit more water. Now that my hair is hydrated a little bit more with water, I'm just gonna add just a tinch. When I say a tinch, I mean a tinch of the same oil that I used when I styled my hair, which is the Jamaica Jamaican um, black castor oil, mango, and papaya oil. Just a little bit, because there's already a quite a bit in my hair now and I don't want it to get heavy but I'm just gonna add a little bit there we go she still has curls can you see And last but not least, I'm going to add just a little bit more of the curling cream that I use just so that my hair still stays moisturized and hydrated along with the water and the oil that I use. And it, again, it is the African Pride um, Shea Butter and Flaxseed Oil Curling Cream. I'm not going to use nearly as much as I did the first time. So most of my hair probably won't even get it. Just a little bit. But I'm just going to kind of fluff that through. Try and get my edges a little bit. I'm not, again, I'm not too concerned about manipulating the curls because, again, I'm going for more volume than definition because I'm a fro girl. Like, I love the curls, don't get me wrong. I love when my curls are defined, but I'll prefer to have the volume in my, my fro. And that is basically it, guys. That's pretty much how I keep my hair moisturized and hydrated. This is day four hair, still hydrated and still 
Got some good curls popping throughout the head. I'll give you guys a closer look. Typically, I can go about three to four days um, before I need to kind of freshen up my curls if I want them to last. Um, just by adding, you know, some more water, a little bit more cream or oil or whatever, just to make sure that my hair is still moisturized. But, and that's on, that's as long as I did like a wash and go or a twist out or something like that. Other styles, it just kind of depends, but specifically for those two styles, then I can go to like three to four days. This is a four day old wash and go. So... My curls are still there, so we're doing right, it. So now that I've added in the product, I'm just gonna keep fluffing through and let my hair kind of air dry. Cause again, I did spray the water, but it's not soaked. It can air dry within a few minutes. Honestly, it's not gonna be that bad. Comment below how long you can go before you typically have to refresh your wash and go. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you for the next main Monday.